what's up everybody, it's Demos Knight, and welcome to a tutorial, and you guys might have guessed it, how to build a horse stable by the title of this video, and that's probably why you clicked on the video. So today we're going to be building this, nice simple stable that holds three horses, and I've been coming, been trying to come up with a lot of designs for stables, and this is the best one I came up with that's a little bit modern, and I like the color scheme of it and just how it looks. So let's go over the materials that we will need. This will not take too long, hopefully. We will need gray wool, block of quartz, pillar quartz blocks, quartz stairs, quartz slabs, spruce wood stairs, spruce wood slab, and glass panes. And you also need anvils as well. Uh, now, if you're trying to make this in survival, you might want to change up some of the materials, especially the anvils will be used up here where the cobblestone walls are. Uh, instead of using the cobblestone walls, you can use anvils or vice versa. So let's get started. We're gonna start off with the main pens themselves. So we're gonna start right here. And we're gonna count back four. So one, two, three, four. And we're gonna take our quartz slabs and put it on top of that quartz block. All right, we're gonna come one block to the right and place another pillar quartz or uh, a quartz slab on top. Basically, every uh, block of quartz that we put, we're gonna put a slab on top of it. Uh, also, we will need trap doors. I just forgot about those. I'm happy I just thought about that. So next thing you're going to do is we came to our right. So we have the corner here. kind of looks like an L. We're going to come two blocks away. Then on the third block, place another block of quartz with a slab on top. And let's place two more next to that. One, two. Again, slab on both of those. Now, the one here in the middle, since we have three blocks here, we're going to turn this back and actually come back and connect it with this back here. So... Actually, we don't need to connect them. Actually, yeah, we don't need to connect them. We're just gonna leave it like this, but now we're gonna put the slabs on top of these as well. And now we're gonna basically do this one more time. So two blocks away on the third block, do the same thing. And let's see, so that's one, two, and then we seem to finish this one off. So this one will be just like the one on the end over there. So we're gonna have like a backwards L on this one. Here we go, let's put our slabs on top of these. Bup, 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 bup and well plus that one in the wrong spot and okay so there we go now we have our pens set up so what we're going to do now you're going to take out your trap doors the trap door you're going to put it on the bottom part of the slab here on all four of the or excuse me all three of these pens and voila now the reason for these these open up so you can actually see uh how the horses get in because horses cannot get through a one black gap at least from my experience, I could be wrong, uh, but that's just from my experience. Okay, so now we're gonna come over to our left side where we have this L. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take our pillar quartz blocks out and we're gonna stack up one, two, three, four. Let me check to see if it's four. Two, three, four. Uh, let's start with four. Okay, so next what we're gonna do, we're gonna come over to the middle block here. Actually, excuse me, I'm sorry. You're going to come uh, on the right side of this block uh, towards the L, towards the door, and place a thing of gray wool, same uh, four blocks tall. Okay, next what we're gonna do, we're gonna come back towards the main part of the L, and you're gonna count out five. One, two, three, four, five. And you're just gonna make this into a plain wall. And then after this piece of gray, you're going to place another four tall pillar of quartz there. And okay, now we're starting to get like our main shape. You can kind of see like, the shape that we have here what we're gonna do now is you're gonna take your gray wool and the gray wool is gonna go right here in between the two uh, like in these three wide uh, walls here and stack it up four and do this with this one over here and basically this is gonna be going to be symmetrical so I'm just gonna kind of replicate what we did over on the other side with this backwards L two three four and again we're just kind of replicating this one two three four five Make this into a solid wall four tall. Bop, 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 bop. And let me take some more swiftness. Man, I am really hot. It's really cold here right now in Missouri, and it is, whoo, it's freezing. It's like five degrees here, which to some of you guys might not be too bad, but to me, it's like, oh my goodness. Okay, so now we have that done. So one thing we're gonna do now with these two blocks right here in the middle, these two gray, these two gray pillars, Excuse me. You're going to take your pillar quartz blocks out, and in front of these, you're going to take your pillar quartz and stack up maybe around eight. 
And I'm just kind of going off random right now. I didn't really count. Just because we're going to fine tune that a little bit later on. Okay, so we have that. Okay, so next what you're going to do, you're going to take your gray wool and have it come in towards this over here and stack this up. And this, this should be five long as well. One, two, three, four, five. And do the same thing on both sides. I'm sorry if you guys can hear my cat. He's running around at 10 o'clock at night just for no reason. Don't ask me why. Okay, so now we have that. Now, I actually do want to see something real quick. So, uh, I'm actually kind of confused by that. I guess what we could do, we could just fill this in all the way with our gray wool. So just make this into a solid wall. As you can see from the one over here, it will have a little more design when we're done. But just for now, we're going to keep it like this. So what you're going to do now, you're going to take out your quartz stairs. And you're going to place this on the fifth block. So this is going to be an upside down stair. And then underneath the upside down stair, you're going to take a slab and put the slab underneath it. So it should look something just like this. Now let me go over here and just make sure. So three on the fourth block. So two, three, four, five. So yeah, it should be on the fifth block. So two, three, four. Wait, is that right? Two, three, four. Okay, I did have it right. Sweet, first try, I got it right. It's a great feeling. Okay, so now we have that. Next, what you're gonna do, you're going to take your anvils out and the anvils are going to sit on top of the stairs here. Again, you can use uh, cobblestone walls for this as well. It does not look bad at all, but that's just my preference of using anvils because I think they look a little bit better. So next, uh, we should have two blocks above the anvils and on the third block, you're going to place a piece of gray wool. And then we're kind of making a roof here. So it should look something along these lines because that's where we're gonna start making our roof. And what we're gonna do is the same thing we did back here. We're basically going to replicate this here on the front. So one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to make this the exact same height because it's basically replicating it to the back. And OK, again, make sure we put our gray wool here. And next we're going to make our roof for this. So the roof for this is actually pretty easy. It's not too bad at all. Uh, let's see. How did I? That is kind of weird how I did that. But anyways, what we're going to do, you're going to take out... Jax, stop. Out of all the times. Okay, but anyways, back to what we're doing. Sorry guys, my cat's just being a real pain. We're going to get rid of this block here and this one here. And we're going to take your uh, spruce wood stairs and just stack them on top. You should have an even number if you've completed this correctly the way I've done it. Now, when you get to the side of the pillar quartz block, you're going to take your quartz stairs and place them here and have these come back and basically you're gonna do the exact same thing that you did over there over here on the back so just like this again this a lot of repetition here and it, this is not a big build this is supposed to be a small simple build Jax ah my cat is being a real I if you guys have cats like do they get hyper all in the middle of the night for no reason I think it's because they've been sleeping all day and then they just get really hyper. Okay, so next, you're just going to put your upside down stairs here to kind of finish this off. So it should look something just like this. For some reason, that doesn't look right. Huh, that's really weird. Uh, let me check something real quick, guys. So, one, two, on the third block, the first piece of gray wool. One, two, on the third block. I'm really confused, like, why isn't this one, two, and the... Okay, so we should be good. Uh, anyways, let's finish this up. That's going to put our quartz stairs here in the front for our outline. And then the rest of this, after we get our outline with our quartz stairs, we're going to... I think I did make this one block too small. Uh, let's move these... Uh, do, 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 do. We're going to move these up one more block because these need to be one block higher. I'm sorry guys, I'm not trying to mess you guys up, but the way this works out, if this is off by one block, it will kind of, it won't mess everything up, but it will kind of offset things a little bit. So I was trying to make sure I get this correct. 
So let's just move these up by one block each. Boop, 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 boop. And okay. Bop, bop. And bop, bop. Okay. And basically just replicate what we did there. Now what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna start working on the main roof itself over on the sides because that's where it's kind of really important. Now, instead of having the outline being the court slab, we're kind of gonna alternate between the two. So what I mean by that is if you notice, the roofs are a little bit different because of the color scheme and how they're set up. And that is on purpose, it's not done on accident. And okay, let's add our outline real quick. Really simple, once you get all this done, it should go by pretty quick. Boop, boop. And okay, let's add our upside downs. I'm trying to fly through this because you guys have already seen this. Look, Looking good there. Okay. And let's do the same thing all over in the back. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this stable. It's taken me probably a, a good couple weeks to come up with a good design. I did record one, but it, it was a pretty big one, a pretty big stable, and I figured this would be a good alternative because really, who's going to have so many horses more than three? I mean, there's not really any point to having more than three, in my opinion, uh, which some people already do. I know that for a fact, but I feel like most people aren't going to have over three, so this will be a perfect size for most of you guys. And okay, there we go. We have that done now. So what we're going to do, we're going to put gray wool here and just like this and that's what uh, that should look like. Let's do the same thing on the back and, we're, and we look good there too. Okay, next the main roof like we said we're going to do. So again, instead of having the court stairs for the outline, we're going to use our spruce wood stairs and we're going to start these here even with this uh, like the, the upside down court stairs. And basically, we're just going to stack these up. So, just doing the exact same thing, we're going to use uh, uh, pillar of quartz to stack those up since those are there. And basically, just stack these up. Now, on this, you should have an odd number, not an even number, if you've done this correctly. So, it should look something just like that. Let me take some more swiftness. And, oh. I need to make sure I get these right. Here we go. Perfect. Fix that. Oh no. There we go. Hey, I stopped flying by accident. Okay. And now the main roof will be court stairs for this one. And here's why you need this to be kind of perfect. Because now when you get to the top here, now when we bring the slabs over, it will connect perfectly with the stairs there. That's kind of why we needed everything to kind of work out perfectly. All right, and let's just finish this up. And okay, almost done. And, oh, oh, can I get through, there we go. So we're gonna make a solid gray wool wall right here for now. And this will change later on, but just for now we're gonna keep it like this. And you might be asking like, why will it change later? Well, just when we complete the roof, we're actually gonna have more space. And the space up here is meant for keeping your hay for your horses. Uh, a couple chests maybe for that as well. That's kind of like the whole design of this here. Do the same thing. Okay. And let's put our spruce wood in front of our quartz here to make it... So when you get to the one at the very top here where it's one block, put a upside down stair for the spruce and then a spruce wood slab on top of that. And that will finish that off. Let's make sure you add our upside down stairs underneath the regular stairs because it definitely makes it look more complete. Boom, looking good there as well. And it looks, yep, looking good. And let's do the same thing over on this side now. Oh, messed that one up by accident. There we go. We're almost done with this. Okay. Uh, boop. Boop boop. Okay. Uh, boop boop boop. And we're finishing this up on the other side. Yeah, I mean, what I was trying to go for with this was a modern design 
that still kind of went back to because I feel like a lot more people like modern I know a lot of people ooh, messed that up as well I know a lot of people like medieval and like the classic designs but I feel like modern just the, the colors that modern uses just really complement each other and that's kind of why I like doing modern so much so I was trying to find the color schemes for these and a design that would actually complement all the colors together and I feel like this actually does that pretty well I'm sure it could be a little bit better uh, I know there's a lot of professionals out there uh, some of you guys watching and finish this off and okay so there we go now the outside is done for the most part so we need to go and collect a couple more materials so some of the materials that we need we will need some ladders we will need spruce wood slabs and we still need our quartz slabs because the quartz slabs will go underneath like this okay so with these uh, two block, these two walls here in the middle, we're gonna do is actually take the last slab off the back ones and just make a pillar going up and connecting it to the gray wall there. Okay, and then you're gonna get rid of these underneath blocks uh, besides the ones in the very back. And what we're gonna do is you're going to take a quartz slab and just kind of put it on the bottom instead of the full block, and that just adds a little bit more design. And next, all we're gonna do is using our oak wood slab right underneath on the top part of this block underneath the anvils you're just going to make a floor so we're just going to use this to fill it in it should not take too long since this is not very big uh, when you get to this right here uh, let me take some more swiftness so, alright so I need to figure out what we're going to do for that exactly so what you're going to do you're going to take your pillar quartz block out Jax! And one block away from the left side, you're going to take your pillar quartz and stack it up. And then you're going to take your quartz, uh, quartz stairs and put upside down ones here and down on the very bottom. And then you're going to take your anvils and this will be your way up. And also the anvils are meant for the railing. You guys might have guessed that one already. And there we go. Now the up, uh, the up here is done besides our ladder which we can even just add a piece of gray wool here and then put your ladder here to come up and okay here's what we do now now we just get rid of all the gray wool that we don't need and basically just make a floor in here so it should look something just like this you can get rid of the gray wool here do the same thing on both sides and again what this does is this will we need to extend this I didn't realize that and what this will do, this will give you more floor space to store more stuff. Uh, like more hay, more chests, and stuff like that. And voila, now just get rid of these. And take your quartz, or your, excuse me, your oak wood slabs. And place these here. And let's make sure we put gray wool there on both sides. Do the same thing with the back here. Well, we can't, so that, that'll be good for now. What did I do for that? Uh, oh, I think I know. We don't have to worry about that yet. So, this you doing this, you're just gonna fill this in to make it look like a floor. And you might be asking yourself, why aren't we using full blocks? Well, you can if you want, but I like using slabs more. Okay, do the same thing to the other side real quick. At 18 minutes, so we're almost done, guys. And some of that time was just doing things over and over again. Okay, and now we have that done, but we're not done yet. Just about, but not quite. Underneath here, we're gonna take your quartz slabs and put the quartz slabs here underneath. Now, they're not gonna be directly underneath because of just how everything works out, but this will actually work out perfectly because it'll still give you a little bit more design. And it covers up some of those spots that we can't get rid of without replacing the oak wood slabs with gray wool. So, you're just going to do this, voila, and finishing this up, almost done guys, and then we have a couple more finishing touches. So voila, there we go. Now our entire stable is done, so your hay would go up here, but what are you going to do now? You're going to do this with every single one, this is totally up to you really. We're going to take out some hay, and we're going to take out a cauldron, and a fence. So what we're going to do 
I'm gonna put the fence closer to here on the corner on both sides and then this one it doesn't matter what side you choose but also I'm gonna add a window right here now the point of this window is just to let some light in and give it a little bit more character from the outside instead of just a plain wall and your window should be three a three by one and just put your glass panes in there voila now that's done you can come up to the top as well and put a window here on both sides again just lets more li natural light in uh let's see what else could we do i'm going to take the cauldron and put it right underneath the window and the hay will basically go in the middle same thing with basically everything so let's do that and you might be asking yourself like what is the fence for the fence is so if you do want to put a lead on your horse you can attach him to that but yeah basically this is your stable guys hopefully you guys are enjoying it i think it's a nice design for a stable it's not too big so it's pretty easy to make as well so thank you for watching guys it is greatly appreciated let me know in the comments what you guys want to see for a tutorial next and I'll be definitely reading your comments, so definitely make sure you let me know what you want to see. So bye-bye, guys, and again, thank you for watching.